I don't know why my PC keeps doing that. Like some kind of USB device keeps like unplugging itself then plugging itself back in over and over again. So like maybe that's why I have all these PC problems. Anyway, welcome to the video. We have Nanoleaf canvas panels. All right, so for those of you that watched my previous YouTube video, you know that we have moved the locations and I've began working on a column of Nanoleafs over on the wall right here. It looks pretty damn sick, but I noticed I only had, I think, a pack of nine to begin with. I put all of them on the wall and it's clearly not enough to go all the way to the ceiling. That is the objective. I did go ahead and buy an expansion pack right here. This is the Nanoleaf Canvas 4 Plus 1 expansion pack. I bought this during Cyber Monday. So thank you Nanoleaf for actually giving me plus one Nanoleaf Canvas panels for free. And I got this for 10% off on their website. So if you're interested in picking some up for your own bedroom, for your own gaming setup, there'll be links down below in the video description to both Amazon and the Nanoleaf website. So you can pick some up for yourself if you're interested. But today's video, yeah, we're gonna be expanding this wall, trying to go to the ceiling. I have a total of five here. And I think one of them actually just came off of this wall. So yeah, we have like six here in total technically. Right, so we've got the nano leaf here. This is the front of it. This is the back of it. And it did come with tape. And you really don't have to use an incredible amount of tape, especially the tape pads that the nano leaves come with. They're really strong, at least from my experience when, when using them. It's very difficult to take these off of your wall afterwards. At least it has been for me. Every single time I've had to move these, it's like painful to watch these kind of begin to bend, but none of them have broken yet. So far, I've not broken a single nano leaf, even when like moving homes and everything and having to rip them off of the walls and then stick them back on and then rip them off of the walls. They've survived everything I've thrown at them so far. So in terms of durability, like I've even dropped mine countless times. I, like I even caught it on video of me dropping it when I was mounting the nano leaf triangle panels above uh, my radiator in the office. Yeah, these pretty durable. None of them have broken, like I said. So I'm gonna only probably stick like one or two of the adhesive pads on the back of it, then slap it on the wall. Before you go ahead and stick this on the wall though, it did come with some linkers that you're gonna use to link this nano leaf to all of the other nano leafs that we have right here. So it's honestly like super simple and it's like quite easy. You probably shouldn't have them powered on whilst doing this. I don't know if that's like uh, <laughs> the best idea, but it's how I've plugged all of mine in all the time. I never bother like turning it off whilst plugging it in. That's probably a bad thing to say, right? That's just how I've been plugging mine in. Nothing bad has happened yet. <laughs> the way the rest of these double-sided linkers came, you have to like snap it all off to get access to them. Although it is like really easy. Technically some of them, you could even just like put on here without tape. And um, as long as the one beneath it has tape, you can kind of spare some of your tape, I guess. I don't know if this is like the best advice, but hey, if, if you want to save on tape, plus it's going to make uh, removing them later on like a million times easier if you don't have to deal with incredible amounts of nano leafs, double-sided tape. Typically, the double-sided adhesive tape I buy on Amazon just lets me down and these nano leaf adhesive strips are like, I don't know. I don't know what planet they're from, but they're very strong. I hope this can power everything with just one power brick. I don't know what the max capacity is. I think it actually says on the box. Each power supply supports up to 25 light squares. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm anywhere near 25. We should be good. One thing that I'll say about nano leafs as well, in, in case like you haven't seen any in person or something, they're very bright. Like honestly, I don't know if the canvas ones are as bright as the triangular ones. I would say they're definitely comparable in terms of brightness. Like they're both pretty damn bright. Dude, this PC, every single time it falls asleep, it starts like unplugging USB ports and plugging them back in, then unplugging them, then plugging Three hours later. I'm gonna need like one or two more. My camera can't even like get it in frame anymore. We are like very, very close. One thing that I thought about doing, which I thought was really, really interesting, was instead of putting the Nanoleaf canvas panels on this wall, where they're kind of like, you know, right next to the setup, they can light me up if I'm ever recording a video over here and I have my camera like over here pointing at me. These lights provide great lighting for me. Plus I do have like another light over there. Yeah, we need like two or three more of these and then we can hit the ceiling with this. So I'm gonna try maybe buy some on eBay or something from some random dude. Yeah, we have this Nanoleaf canvas panel and I really thought about moving all of these from this wall and putting them over on this wall. And I've taken one of these off of the column we just built to show you how perfect this would actually look like. 
Like imagine we had the canvas panels over on this wall instead of here. Because even if I have like my windows all, all closed, for example, or it's just very dark outside and there's no natural light coming in, I can have light coming in from the same location in the room, but you know, it's like artificial light via LED lights on the wall. But honestly, I feel like that's such a better idea. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section because I am still very much willing to move them over to there. And I could technically then use them as like a wake up light. So that would be cool too. I could probably still set these up as a wake up light. And I want to see whether or not you can even do that within the Nanoleaf Canvas app. That would be actually like really interesting. I have ordered more of the J channel cable management things that I keep promoting in like every video because it's just like an easy way to hide away cables. I'll have links in the video description to these as well in case you want to go pick some up and improve your cable management because you don't want to have cables dangling beneath your table. It's not a good look. Just have like a nice clean workspace. You can focus better. It's going to be great. There's a whole list of benefits. Recently, I kind of changed my tables. At the moment, I'm using two IKEA Linmon tables that I've combined in the middle. I kind of talked about that in the previous video and showed you what my previous table was and like the bottom of it and the cable management and everything. But essentially I had tons of these plastic J channels stuck beneath my previous table and I really wanted to reuse them over on this table right here. But I could not for the life of me like take them off of the table without either breaking the J channels or like kind of damaging the bottom of the desk by like ripping parts of it off because the adhesive that these come with, it's pretty strong adhesive. I'll give them that. These definitely, for the most part, tend to stay on the bottom of my desk without any problem. As a side effect of them using incredibly strong tape though, when it comes to take them off and like reuse them, you can't really do that. Unless you use double-sided Velcro instead of just adhesive and then slap it onto your table. Use Velcro in between with adhesive, but then you'll be left with like a mess of Velcro, which hopefully is easier to remove than re removing these and possibly snapping them in the process, which is just not good. So with the Velcro solution is, it's there. That is the solution. Velcro is the solution. Velcro is like the new duct tape. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you follow the DJ Tech Block 2020 mix playlist on Spotify. We got some absolute bangers on there. Nano leaf, please, please find them. Pair. Okay, so there you go. Maybe this is what I had to go through. Maybe it's because I did add more. Razor was like, hold up. There's too many nano leaves. Wait, press. Oh, press the power button for three seconds. My bad, I just pressed it once before. I meant to hold it. Okay, now it's in pairing mode. Hey, there you go. So, Chroma Studio. Select all of them. Jesus, that is a lot. Select everything. Boom, spectrum cycle. One thing that we can enable as well is Yi Light. So, hopefully, things are just. Oh, no, no nothing's working just yet. So this is what I kind of wanted to showcase with like Yi Light, we got Nano Leaf, we got Razer, we got the PC internals synced up. We can go ahead and actually turn the lights off here just so like you can see how bright the Nano Leafs are and everything and how bright everything else is. But basically everything is now synced up and being controlled by Razer. We have the Nano Leafs up there. We have the PC being controlled via Asus Aura Connect and the rest of the peripherals over here. Everything is synced up. Then as we move across the bedroom right here, we have one light bulb in there from Yi Light. Shout out to them. That is their light bulb 1S, I think it's called. I'll leave a link in the description down below to it if you want to go check it out because that one I would actually recommend. Then we have their LED light strip, but you're going to notice that everything is in a progress and changing colors very smoothly, except from this light strip. This light strip for me seems to not update as often as these devices do which is a bit odd, but it does make for rather laggy lighting effects sometimes. I've actually got the spectrum cycle effect that I'm running on Razer at the moment. I've actually set everything to the slowest mode. So it cycles through the colors very slowly. If I set it to fast, which I just did, check out what's gonna happen, okay? So you're gonna notice the nano leaves, they're gonna probably keep up. The light bulb, I hope keeps up. But these, these I noticed sometimes tend to struggle and begin to lag. Although this time, you know what? I might have to take that back. Because they are actually updating a bit faster this time. Maybe there's been a firmware update, although you did see that, right? That was like some flashy behavior there, you know? 
that is what I really don't want. I want all the lighting effects to be super smooth so you don't see like the major transition color to color. You know, it should all just be smooth. So this one on fast mode, it tends to struggle a little bit. But hopefully maybe they can fix this via like a software update or something. But nevertheless, like everything does sync up and especially within games, Hopefully the delay on this one wouldn't cause too much of a problem, but I know that light bulb, that one seems to be syncing up a little bit better, at least from like my testing so far. It could be our Wi-Fi. Uh, I do wanna put that out there once again, but that's just like my own experience with these products so far. I feel like this video is just all over the place today, but I've picked up some more stuff from Amazon. This just came in and this is cable trunking right here. Cable trunking is like a brilliant solution for hiding cables that would typically be like running on your ground. You know, like power extension leads, stuff like that usually. You can go ahead and hide those power extension cords inside of some plastic cable trunking. And it's actually super easy. So I've gone ahead and bought one pack right here. This was about, I think 18 pound or 19 pound on Amazon. But this is four meters of cable trunking. They're just like plastic tubes essentially but I'm gonna have these plastic tubes be running beneath the setup right here because I do have some dangling cables right here. These are just like power extension cords, but I'm gonna actually cut these cable trunking bits to size and then hide away all of the cables inside of this plastic cable trunking. It's gonna look really clean in the end. We have another Amazon package here as well. This is the J channels that I was talking about. I'll make a dedicated video about these, but one thing I'm missing is, oh wait, no, I do have the Velcro, Never mind. I have everything I need now to make my cable management video. The J channels have come in. These I'm gonna stick beneath my table uh, over there and we're gonna hide away any excess cables. Using this is gonna be brilliant. I'll have the Velcro in a different room. I'll bring the Velcro over. We'll stick it all together. It's gonna be a great video. Stay tuned for that one. And then if you're wondering what else came in the Amazon parcel, vitamin C. I bought some vitamin C tablets for health. So if you, if you aren't taking vitamin C, you know, I'm gonna leave this in the description down below as well. Some vitamin C for you, you know, stay healthy, take that every day, and you're gonna be good fam. All right, I'm gonna get going. Stay tuned for the cable management video coming soon now that we have everything we need to finally do it. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.